When I was young, Dad worked in a copper tubing plant in Pennsylvania, and the product of this plant were the copper pipes that are found in the plumbing of most homes and businesses now throughout the country. I can remember Dad giving us kids a mini tour one afternoon at shift change time when we went to pick him up from work. He took us over and he said, now this is where the raw copper goes into the furnace and it gets melted down. He, he was shouting over the roar of this mighty blast furnace. Felt the intense heat on my face as he talked to us. These great, flat, ugly chunks of raw material copper were unloaded from railroad cars and they were conveyed into this huge furnace. And within minutes of introduction, the copper was fully melted and coming out in liquid form ready to be shaped into a useful product. All the impurities of the raw materials had now been separated in the process of being heated in the furnace and they were discarded. And now these cylinders of red hot copper, as I remember, were about 18 inches in diameter and about two feet in length, just a solid cylinder of copper. And soon, this copper would go through its first draw bench where it was stretched and shaped into a tube-like form this big, fat, short pipe emerged from the other end of the draw bench. And on and on, the same piece of material went, progressively getting drawn down through these draw benches. And as it did, it became slimmer, and it became more and more looking like a piece of pipe as we would use it in our home. It was a shaping process that made it usable. And Dad operated one of those draw benches and I was amazed to see the pipe spin through this great long machine and, and to see this final piece of shiny copper emerge, ready to be packaged and bundled and used in our homes. I remember how amazed I was as I thought of the transformation process the copper went from start to finish. And it's difficult not to see the amazing parallel of this process in our own lives. When we place our lives fully into God's hands and ask Him to do whatever He will with us, the most difficult thing sometimes is to realize that He allows many of us to go through the furnace, to continue through the process which He wants to take us through in order to fully work and perfect His will for us. As we enter the furnace of life, where impurities are burned off and our strong self-will may need to be fully broken or, or melted, we begin wondering things like why and where and how. But through the fire, then through the stretching and the constant pressure, when we allow him, God brings something amazing, something incredible from our current situation. And I don't believe he does it just for us. I believe his primary purpose is to use us so that others who see the transformation will then want the same thing in their lives. We just get to be the one that he chooses to use above all others. So if you're feeling the heat or the stretching or the pressure, just look to God for a moment and say, thank you.